Hello everyone, welcome to Nightmare Tower Sheepish Look At Thing by uh, Juicy Beast Studios. They were very kind and gave me a key uh, so that I may do a video on it and show you guys this really cool, simple ass game. Um, I played this game, it's free on online if you wanna. Ooh, that's not a good loop um, <laughs> for the music. It's free online if you guys wanna try it out for free. Um, wow, well, I just said the same word twice. In the same sentence, but uh, this version on Steam does have a few improvements. It's cheap as well. Link in the description if you want to buy it. But here I am to tell you about what the game's like and uh, what I think about it. It's I had a lot of fun on Congregate. Uh, I, that's where I played it. Um, it's a really simple game. Basically, you've got to go. It's another kind of um, vertical jumping ascending game. There's many games like this, uh, but this one's quite beautiful. So. Uh, Basically, you just start off as this little knight on a rocket who's just trying to save some princesses. Easy, easy story to understand. And the bar on the left, as you can see, I'm playing with the controller, by the way. And uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just press A at the highest point you can, and you try go really high. Woo! Um, so you move. You just there's only two controls: left, right, um, and A on the keyboard on the uh, controller. Sorry. And uh, you just you just hit stuff. Basically, when you press A, you will dash forward dash downwards and kill an enemy. You can also just drop on them slowly and uh, you'll still kill them. And basically in the top left corner you can see that purplish yellow arrow. That's basically my combo meter and as you fill it up by killing enemies it'll launch you very high up. And okay there was something meant to happen there but I've already uh, I just tested the game once and went up one floor. You'll see soon. And you basically ascend and you... oh my god this game is fucking hard to commentate and play at the same time. Um, also, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, is like glowing orange. That's the lava ascending. Yep, there it is. Oh, Jesus! And so you want to try get a combo, I'm gonna fucking die. Ugh. And, um, <laughs> and uh, escape from the lava. And also, oh, Jesus Christ. There you go, that's my fucking graves. This game is very morbid, actually. It looks very colorful and yeah, it's fun, but no. You die in a fucking pit of lava. Uh, so the objectives in the top right corner basically as you saw they just kind of pop up and cycle through them So I completed the bottom two now. They're all yellow So I reached 500 meters in the tower and filled out my combo meter blah blah So and then new objectives replace them. So that's the first princess I've rescued already. So there's my money, and this is the store. I can buy some stuff um, I played this game quite a while back on online, so I'm not sure I think this store might be new. I, I could also be talking out of my ass. I'll make sure before I upload this and let you guys know. Um, so, I don't know. Let's just grab uh, a faster rocket so I can go a bit further. Makes your moves and attacks faster. It's also pretty damn useful. Uh, so, these are just accessories. Potions. Okay, we'll see them later. Um, and these are the achievements. This is only, I don't know, six? Yeah, that's six. And quest. Okay, so there you go. That's basically like as you can tell, the game's very simple, but it's very addicting, and it does get more fun. So now I've got a faster rocket. So what are my objectives? Split apart 25, 75 monsters, which I'll do eventually. Um, perform a total of two perfect launches. That's easy. You just got to get that white line on the launcher thing, and earn 2,500 gold in one launch. By the way, I think I I feel like I should point out this. <laughs> and the the text in the top left said for okay. Um. I feel like I should point out my main problem with the game, which is just if it's in full screen mode, I get a lot of screen tearing. I don't know if they're going to implement a V-Sync option or something, but just keep that in mind. Right now I'm playing in windowed, which is 1280 by 720 for me, and it looks totally fine, and there's no screen tearing, but you know, I felt it's only right to point that out. Apart from the game, apart from that, the game looks pretty great and doesn't seem to have any other issues. Ugh. Oh Jesus Christ. And yeah, oh man, that was awful. <laughs> I was upgraded even more and I... Okay, well, at least I got that objective. Reached 1,000 meters in less than 40 seconds. Okay, maybe I can get an upgrade that'll help me out. Let's see. Accessories. Uh, gain more speed when defeating monsters. That's pretty good, actually. Okay, I can't afford anything right now because I'm a poor little knight. <coughs> nope, so close. Damn, I made a really good first impression, didn't I? Yeah, this music's pretty great. Ugh. So yeah, I mean, as I've said before, the oh right, I just noticed the um, sorry, I keep fucking interrupting myself. Um, the enemies do get more varied and pretty annoying and hard. Um, annoying in a good way though, uh, and especially because you can get different upgrades and combat them in different ways. And like you know, you like um, you won't have to. For example, 
like launching past this first level is not too difficult later on because sorry my oh my god I can't freaking keep a straight sentence going without interrupting myself. This game is very uh it requires a lot of brain power. Uh let's just see this really quick. Basically, uh they avoid annoyingness and uh, tediousness. Uh, because, you know, you get upgrades and so you don't have to do this whole first level again because you'll probably have a rocket by then which will just blast you past the first two floors in a second, you know. I really want to save a princess and show you what kind of the main thing is. Oh, Jesus! There are also, I think there's a survival mode for the people that want to do it. I'll probably play it after the story mode. I'm not sure how it works. I guess we can check it out before I finish the video if I remember. I should stop sucking so damn bad. I beat the game online. Alright, alright. Oh, gee, okay, wait, let's just restart that. Uh, perfect launch, yes! There you go, that's my objective. And also the objectives give you more money over time because they get harder and... You get more money, you get more upgrades, you get higher up and you beat the game. And you're done. Uh, yeah, these guys seriously seem to, have a, seem to have a nice knack for like coming up with really original ideas. I've played all their games online and they are very cool. Oh jeez, okay. Screw those shooting guys, I need to be more careful. Oh! Okay, okay. What? What the fuck was that shit? Okay, alright, alright. All right. I'm sorry. Survive for 25 seconds without dashing a single launch. Okay, I guess I could do that now. Oh, there's something new in the shop. There's a nice little notificator telling me that. Um, hmm. Let's grab. I could get an even faster rocket if I just go one more round. I think I want to gain more speed. Yeah, their achievement progress. Ugh. Oh, you also get a money bonus for getting that. Alright, I'm gonna be more careful with these uh, guys. Also, for people that prefer keyboard controls or controller controls over the other one, they both seem to work totally fine. Um, I've played them both and I can play completely uh, well. I've, I can't think of the word I'm looking for. Competently with either one. Damn shooter thing. Looks like a, looks like a fly. It's a little spitter. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's how you get to a new floor. And I just let... I saved the princess, apparently, by letting her fall to her doom into the lava pit. But it's fine. Okay, as you can see, the enemies are taking more damage now. Like, these small blue guys take three hits, I think. Oh, fourth floor? Or third floor? Whatever it is. Hell yeah! Let's get the health! Oh, man. Ouch. Alright, I can do this. Oh, get the hell away from me, you fat-ass, ugly green dragon. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're actually beautiful. Oh man, it's pretty hideous. Oh! Okay, the lava's catching up. It's getting intense. Uh, okay. As you can tell, I'm very quality at commentating while playing games. Holy shit! Oh man, I thought I almost died. Okay. Yeah! Was that like four princesses in a row? Oh man, the lava's gonna catch up. Uh, holy shit! Uh. Alright, I'm I'm gonna be a goner very soon. No! Give me that money. If I die, I'm gonna go out rich! Yeah! You saved a princess! You have a chance to see a bomb level 1 appear after slashing a foe. Nice. Okay, so they each give you upgrades. Power up options, that potions, no options. Lucky beasts rarely appear, but reward you well if you can get them. Huh, that's funny, it's your logo. Okay, maybe we can try go for one of those. Drink a total of 5 potions, okay. Oh, okay. That's nice. It's a little list of upgrades, and that is a lot of damn money. Um, hmm. Okay, I'll need to think about this. Let's see what the potions do. I think they're temporary? To drop potions of haste. Oh, okay, right. So the monsters drop potions. Alright, so I just upgrade the potion upgrade, and it just gives me more potions to find in the game. As the leech effect tastes like leeches. Right. Okay, I'll stick with the first potion for now, just so we can see what it's like. Um, extra life is in like another heart. Oh man, I look pretty smexy now, pretty snazzy. Lose less speed due to air friction while ascending. That's pretty useful. And I kind of want to get a better ship, rocket. Hell yeah! Ugh. Let's try to do one good run now. Screw you guys! Mm. But yeah, dashing is pretty essential if you do want to get far away from the lava, especially if you can help it because you build up your combo. See, I got. Up here to the second floor pretty damn fast, I feel now. Oh, lucky beast! And a bomb! Oh, yeah! Oh man, that's beautiful. Give me loads of stuff. Whoa! 
Oh man. Oh shit. But yeah, this is pretty fun. I don't think it's too expensive if you do want to check it out. Once again, link in the description. I guess I'm coming to the end of the video. I'll just finish this run and maybe we can check out survival mode really quick if I have it unlocked. I'm not sure. Um, if there even is a survival mode, <laughs> I might be making stuff up completely. But yeah, like I said, so far the only real issue I have is just that V-Sync problem. Uh, the screen tearing is pretty bad. I don't know if they're gonna patch it. But the game does run in window properly. Oh, and also if you do care, there is no mouse support. Like, all the menus are operated with the keyboard only. Or the controller. Um, honestly, I think it's forgivable with this kind of game because it's so simple and what the hell that thing was hideous. It's so simple and, um... Honestly, the rest of the game you wouldn't use the mouse anyway, so... Whatever, I think it's fine. Uh, but if that, you should keep your eye out for that if that's something that bothers you. Oh man. I've either got to choose between good commentary or good gameplay. Come on. We can save one more princess before this is over. Where am I? Okay, so that yellow line? No? Okay, right, I have no idea. I was looking at the thing on the left. Okay, yep, I'm totally gonna die. Alright. Well, we saved five princesses. Hell yes. You now have a chance to see a horn level 1 appear after slashing a foe. Well, I'm not going to spoil any more for the game of the game for you. You can uh, get it if you want and see what the horn does. It's Trust me, it's an amazing thing. I don't even know. I'm just making that up. Uh, let me grab generator speed boost. Yes. So, uh, link in the description if you want to check out this game. Uh, let's see if there's a survival mode. Yep, there is, but I have to unlock it after beating the game. And there's a new game mode. And these are the settings if you want to see. So, as you can tell, there's not much. There's different languages, I guess, which is pretty nice. But yeah, check out the game. Thank you for watching, everybody. My name has been Mr. Windcheap. It always has been, and it still will be, probably. Not my real name, but you know what I'm trying to say. And, uh, goodbye. I love you. Woo!